Hey guys, JR from the Market Surveillance Alliance. And again, it's me today, so it's Friday, to fr uh, it's Friday and I'm gonna come with a back-to-back -back videos because I think it's time just to give you some, some kind of lights of what's happening out there. And of course, I, I have something to offer. I have a voice and I wanna share my view in the financial markets with you. Actually, mostly US financial markets because everything else is just smoke and mirrors. The only market that matters today and will matter in the near future will be the US uh, stock market and the different products that they offer. So having said that, let's jump to the charts and let's take a look at what's happening and how you can learn to trade better on. If you're new to trading uh, from the get go, you have an excellent, robust foundation understanding how to trade financial markets, right? So let's take a look at what's happening. And the first thing, I want to look at levels that you have to pay attention right now and how you translate that into trading opportunities. If you need extra money, extra dollars uh, for gas, or if you need extra dollars for the grocery, you will need to take some risk. But let's teach you how you have to take that risk, okay? So this is the uh, S&P 500. I'm using XPX 500 USD on trading view. That's the ticker I'm using to guide you on this particular video. And I'm using Oanda data. Now, I'm looking at the four hour because in the four hour, we will start um, we'll start to see the development of a potential reversal in this uh, downtrend. Or will we just see a continuation and some support liquidity levels uh, being taken out and you will have to position yourself to the more downside. Now, very important level. This structure, this is key. 3,648 points. Everyone knows this is a key level. Right now, we have a development so far where the 3,700 points is defended. This is a, like what we call the round figure, sort of the round figure and psychological level that the market is defending. Now, if we have, talking about uh, tools and technical filters, if we have any opportunity to break above, go back into the triangle for, uh, formation. This is a triangle, right? In the short term. If we look to see prices inside the triangle and above, if we have a breakout, prices mean prices go above this level, you have to get ready. We will have uh, leaders like Apple, Microsoft, potentially Amazon. Uh, moving into new uh, new short-term highs, and that will definitely open the doors for the market to recover all the way to 4,150 points because that's where we were back in the first week of June of 2022. Now, just remember, the opposite is also true. If we have a continuation, you can see how we're battling here. Uh, the market, as of now, it's about to open in a couple hours, uh, just so you know. Um, we're looking to open in two hours, 50 minutes. So depending on when you see the video, it doesn't matter because this is just a little bit of uh, mapping you what's happening out there. So uh, once you have those levels, you have a pretty good understanding and you can position yourself. So if I have today, if I have a close above the triangle, this the base of the triangle, and also the filter, which is the 20 exponential moving average, I repeat, 20 exponential moving average, then you will see a continuation. And if I see the CBOE volatility index moving lower as it is, as it did yesterday, which explained why on Thursday we have that massive opportunity for Apple to start building some bullish momentum, then you can see what happened yesterday. We have a false breakout. It went all the way up to 28.50 on the CBOE volatility index, as well known as the VIX. And that thing couldn't hold and ciao, papa, it's over. So that's why the market recovered all the way from um, 3,725 points all the way to be close to 3,800. So it's a science, it's a little bit of understanding how you pair assets. And this is exactly what you need to always pay attention. So you have my levels on the S&P 500. Uh, the NASDAQ did a little bit better. So NDX is something that I will look forward to review with you. And my expectations based on the tool, the technical tool that you see at the bottom of my chart is the fat boy from Hawkeye Traders. And I use all my technical tools and then always I do pay attention to my different algorithms, proprietary technology, where we check what high rollers are doing, how they're placing the bets. And basically yesterday we have one guy that took $3.8 million in Apple. 
yeah, $3.8 million in Apple. And you think, okay, that guy is crazy. The market is going to tank. Not at all, because yesterday that uh, play in the options market, um, you can see from bottom to the to the close was 3.75%. But in the options market, some of the contracts yielded 30%. And that guy with $3.8 million, that guy may just in six hours, six hours and 30 minutes, that's, that, that's the length of the session. Um, 30%, 30% on almost $4 million. That's about $1.2 million in one single day. Actually, it's less than one single day. It's less than seven hours of work. So you can think that there's some positioning that is taking place, and I want to make sure you understand what is happening and how you can play that. So my levels for the S&P, you got them. This is exactly, I would love to see it close at some point next week, how the, how the market battles the inflation reading. If that happens, we might have an opportunity, as I mentioned, to move all the way up. But pay attention. If we have a breakdown of the 3,720 uh, 3, points, then definitely we're moving lower. Now, this is pretty basic, but the only thing that you have to remember while you're trading this is how you position yourself. If you have a little money, what I would suggest is for you to start uh, your uh, trading career, pay attention to the SPY options, either calls or puts. Uh, you can start with a basic strategy, which this is what we do. It's pretty basic. We just I just buy calls and I buy puts. If it's there's bullish momentum, I just go with a call. And if you're, there's a put situation where the market is actually moving lower, then you buy the put. It's pretty simple. As you gain experience, you can look for uh, some strategies, some income strategies, and you can be more proficient. You can start selling puts as well for income. Okay, that's a different thing. But for now, look at uh, the option chain, what's happening. And the way I look, one basic thing and one piece of advice to all our members is look where the volume is uh, allocated. That's pretty simple. You can use code media. It's not secret. It's a website. It's free. And for example, for July 15th, for today, uh, there's lots of volume on the puts uh, still happening. Look at this particular the, uh, 375 put has 198, uh, 194,000 contracts in volume that's crazy that's crazy so pay attention to these where the volume so ha you have a little bit of guidance but at the end of the day understanding how the vix let me just go back to the vix uh, the cboe volatility index this will be your guidance okay if this thing's moving lower then you absolutely will be looking to buy calls and uh, you can have some ideas as where the volume is allocated so the 378 this this one did really well for example let's take a look at what happened with the 380 before i go in this video and it shows you the price action when you're buying uh the index the vix when uh the vix went up that was your opportunity to bet on the recovery of the financial markets the s uh, s p 500 same with the nasdaq and the russell 2000. so for example in a day look at what happened market open it tank but from 10 a.m. to all this way, from 50 cents to 150, you have the opportunity to make 2x, two times your money. Probably a 30, 50% will be more conservative, and it will only cost you $50 that particular trade. Remember, it's step by step, but with the levels, absolutely look at that massive volume 185,000 contracts uh, yesterday. That's amazing. Now, of course, if we have a continuation, uh, let's look what's the SPY doing. If you have a continuation, you want to buy today at the opening, 378. Still, you want to buy at the opening this contract as um, as cheap as, as possible. And then you want to ride it for 30, 50 percent. And that's what we do. We train our members to understand how to do this and take advantage of every single move the market is uh, it's setting up. Because as you have the skills, you can take advantage of every scenario in a blink of an eye, right? So remember, this is what's happening. This is a little bit of an idea. I like also to give you some ideas where you can uh, you can look for trade setups and opportunities. Uh, it did very well yesterday. You can see the price, uh, how it how the price. Uh, I paused the video, so <laughs> but you can see here. I wanted to ah, I don't have the tools. Oh, okay, have the tools, and you can see how the mark 
market tanked at the beginning, and then it had a big opportunity for you to produce 2x. And still, the contract was negative. So this is the beauty of trading options as well. The contract may end negative, but because you buy at the beginning when the market is tanking and uh, with the expectation that the market will reverse, then you have these type of opportunities, all right? Now, uh, let me just exit here. Uh, remember that at the Market Surveillance Alliance, that what we do, what I do is that I follow the different algorithms. We kind of look into how the right high rollers in Wall Street are placing their bets, and then we join them. But definitely, uh, one of my missions, one of my objectives is for everyone to learn in America how to trade options, how uh, I'm not promising that you will become rich. That's, that's everyone's journey, and we definitely provide the training. But the idea is for you to know what to do and how to defend yourself and protect your family from inflation, from any crazy idea that may come from the White House, any crazy idea from your government. Think about people in Sri Lanka, okay? But the idea is for you to develop the skills that will always make sure you know what to do, how to do it, and when to do it. And that's what you will find at the Market Surveillance Alliance. And remember, I want you to never forget, at the end of the day, someone always knows. See you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.